So Jeff, you've got a fight August 9th in the WEC against Mizugaki, about eight days away. How are you feeling? I'm feeling uh, mentally as strong as I've ever felt, and uh, conditioning is good. You know, a couple bumps and bruises, which will be fine come fight time, so I feel great. Great. You've got uh, the legend here, Hoyler Gracie, with you. Can you talk a little bit about... Uh, the new secret weapon. That's right. Can you talk a little bit about what he's do doing out here and um, how long he's going to be here with you? Uh, it's a really short trip, uh, just a few days, but it's all we can squeeze in here with uh, both of our schedules. Um, it's kind of a preliminary in hopes to establish a long-term relationship. I just found out Oilers living in the United States a few months ago, and uh, I jumped on it. I've been looking for this opportunity for a long time to hook up with this guy and you know, add him to my family and hopefully become more a part of his. Great. And Hoyler, uh, can you talk a little bit about how Jeff's feeling, his training, how it's been, how it's been going this week? Well, um, he's already have a plan for a must, you know. We just try to be together and change, you know, the ideas a little bit. But he's prepared. He's mentally very strong and he's in good shape, you know. His cardio is really, really good, you know. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's just, this fight is a fight and uh, he's going to... Some <laughs> That's the plan. I, I really like. I've been. I got into fighting for the for the from the beginning because uh, because of the original UFC and what Hoist did, and you know I fell in love with jujitsu and it changed my life. And I, I still in Hoyler, it laid out my entire uh, landscape of my entire life and uh, set up a future for my kids and everything. And I've every time I've graced the ring, I've. I go out to represent Gracie Jiu-Jitsu and to have Boiler here is just hanging out with me and training with me is such a motivational time for me and it's exactly what I needed to be enlightened and lifted up. The problem is we don't know what he's going to do in the fight because his Jiu-Jitsu is really good and his hands are heavy, man. I tell you, be careful. <laughs> yeah, I, I, my boxing coach has just been sitting here for the past eight years waiting for me to really just find my find my calling with the punches so Mizugaki's a guy who's going to stand with me I have every intention on letting him feel my power a little bit and getting to scrap with him but you know at the same time I have no problem taking him to the ground obviously Great. Can you talk a little bit about uh, how you felt over the last few fights and how your game has evolved uh, the last couple the last three fights you know I'm coming off with three losses um, one time you know with, with with uh, I lost a submission in my entire career once to Uriah Faber, and uh, everybody deserves one break in their life. And I, I had the only way I can live with myself is to just move past it. And my last two fights have been by decisions. You know, they've been tough wars, and maybe a couple bad decisions on my part to change the strategy of the fight and put me in the judges uh, below on the scorecards. But this time is all about not making mistakes. This time is all about making the right choices and fighting the fight. Great. He's gonna be like going home and getting Sarah, his Sarah, what are you guys doing out here? Shopping. Shopping? Ty, are you shopping? What do you Are you shopping at your store? <laughs> hey Ty, did you know that you own this store? Ty, what is what was daddy doing in the cage? A punch punch. What? Punch punch. I was doing punch punch. Were you afraid? Was Daddy losing or winning? Was I winning? Are you stop. I stop. Yeah. Does Daddy have a big fight coming up? Yeah. Am I gonna win? Then what? <laughs> punch, punch. Who's this guy, Jacob? Oh, why are you? Uh, he knows. Oh, he's flipping him off. That's nice. Whoa. He's all smiles. Whoa. This kid. Until it comes nighttime. Uh, then you don't want nothing to do. In the with nighttime, him. he cries. <laughs> and you got all girls, huh? All girls. Ty. I think I'm stopping at two boys. Ty. He's hiding. He's doing what I do down there. He's hiding in the rack. There he is. Your brother. There we go. Ty is is Hoyler your new friend? Oh, you shy booger. He was born with a mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> At least he wasn't born with this. No, thank God. It's right. That'll be next. He's a good little boy, isn't he?